Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Similio Fables and Similio History. They're actually identical games, though this one is fable or fantasy characters, and this is famous folks through history. And I was online, and somebody posted pictures of this game, and they were like, I just had to go buy this game because the character art is fantastic and I love it. And I saw it online and I was like, the character art is fantastic and I love it. And so I bought it and I bought, bought both of them. Um, and it, it's the art of this game is stellar. Such amazing character work. And then played it. It's basically reverse guess who and it's a whole lot of fun. So in essence... What you have, other than my dog being a good dog, um, what you have is 12 cards that get laid out. Before this, there's it's a cooperative game, and there's one person who's giving clues, and the other people were trying to guess. So at the start, the clue giver um, gets a random one of these characters. So they know, in my head, like, maybe it's Dorothy. I'm the only person who knows that. So Dorothy is the character everyone else is trying to guess, and then, every, then they all get mixed up. And then the clue giver is given five cards which are just more characters, right? And so what I'm going to do, I can't say anything, but what I need to do is take one of these characters and I'm going to play it on the table. If I play it sort of vertically, that means this has something in common or similar to the character. If I play it horizontally, this means it doesn't have anything in common. Um, and so then the, the folks playing, the other players who are cooperating, need to try to figure out who isn't your character. And essentially, they're going to say, uh, uh, you know, we don't think it's Pinocchio. And if I agree, Pinocchio is removed, and we continue. It gets harder and harder because in subsequent rounds, I place a character out in the second, and you keep the one you did. I, I place another character out, and then they have to remove two characters, another three characters, another four characters, and then you're just left with two. It's not easy. You can usually get through the first few rounds, but the last few rounds are really tough. Um, one of the questions that came up as I was explaining it to my kids and, and, and stuff is, like, what does similar mean? It's super ambiguous. So, like, where was the, the uh, Aladdin? So, for the Aladdin, and, and there's Dorothy, like, right, you could say the, the gold of his crown is, like, the gold of her hair. But probably, you might be thinking, like, well... He's magic, she's not really magic, or he, he's not, like, sort of non-human, she's human, male, female... He's from Aladdin. She's from um, The Wizard of Oz. I'm, I'd probably say not like this character. And so somebody might guess, well, you know, considering fantasy or male or whatever, I'm going to pick the Mad Hatter. And, you know, he would have been removed. But then maybe later on, let me just go through, get a better example. I might have Alice. And I'd say, yeah, this is very similar to Alice. Heroine, main character younger woman, you know, all those things, that sort of aligns, long hair. Um, and you're just going, going, and going. It's fast, it's fun, the cards are gorgeous. I really think it's amazing. The history one, I, if you have to buy one, I would, especially if you're playing with your family, I would pick up Fables first. Um, certainly, these are so, you know, well-known that everyone had a good idea of the characters, their story, you know, like even we were playing one where my son was picking things and he was like, you know, Snow White and a couple other characters. And they were like, he was like, oh, the similarity was they were tricked. And I was like, oh, OK, that's not what I was thinking. The history uh, ones are, are, are great. I, I would say probably better for older kids just to have more awareness, because unless you're just doing looks like it's just a broader set. You have Vincent van Gogh, Alexander the Great. Uh, Hibata, Habata, um, Catherine the Great, uh, you know, Mary Shelley, Saladin, Saladin, <laughs> Tutankhamun. I mean, just like a huge range of characters from all parts of history. And so, you know, I, I just like some of them, you know, some of them, they, go, they have, you can't really see it, but in white, they have a little like, who is this person? But it's just not as robust of an experience as the fable ones because people kids at least are much more familiar with them, but it's also a, a, a learning opportunity. It reminds me a little of like times, uh, uh, what is it called? Um, card line and, 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 and those games. So, um, again, for a small, simple game, I, I really dig it. I think they do, a, it does a really nice job of coming up with a cooperative reverse guess who. So 
This is Similio Fables and Similio History. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.